The issue is... Oh, this is gonna be pretty dang wicked. to the Shelby Lifestyle. Today we are at Shelby American in Las Vegas. This place is awesome. You've got super snakes everywhere. You've got Shelby pickup trucks. I mean this place is this car enthusiast heaven. It's amazing. I love it. We've got the GT500 super snake right behind me lifting up. They've actually they found what was going on in like five minutes. It's, it's insane how quickly they were able to diagnose the issue on this car. And I'll, I'll show the video of, of what they said about that right after this. What the issue is, see this adjuster right here? Yeah, yeah, I, I got it, I got it. All right, so see the center, that's the adjuster, and then there's two jam nuts. And the jam nuts aren't jammed on the outside. I've got some Teflon, some uh, Loctite residue right on the bottom here. Uh, but obviously you gotta lock these things, you gotta put some Loctite on them, cinch them on. Yeah. I don't know if maybe we had contaminated Loctite or maybe the vibration was too much or maybe there wasn't enough. Uh, but we've actually backed off here and the thing's adjusted itself out. So if those don't hold it, this thing, you spin it one way, it contracts it, makes it oh, shorter. You spin yeah, it the other sense. way, it extends it, it makes it longer. And obviously it's gotten to the point where now you're bumping on the cradle yeah, for the watts yeah. link. Okay. So it's so and it, and if it didn't start rubbing on there, it would have kept going. And uh, I'm not sure how many more threads are in the ends there, but if it will, goes back far enough, it will just fall apart, and that center link will fall that out. Makes sense, yeah. But I mean, we're we should have another quarter inch of clearance between the bracket and this nut in, in here. But it's it's tight, and either which way, that's the way these things are. It's just there's too much stuff yeah. going on right there. Well, with anything on these things, you know, it's they tell you put it together, and then after you know so many miles, you jack it up and retorque everything yeah. down. The Loctite sealant on there, but like I said, uh, either there's not enough, we got contamination, maybe it's just enough vibration. I mean, uh, stuff's not totally bulletproof. What we're talking about doing for a solution is eliminating the adjustable uh, link and going with the solid, so a non-adjustable upper control arm. The, uh, well, it? this is the watts link right here, but the problem is the upper control arm, and that's what we're looking at right here. So there's the adjustment link. That's the center adjuster. There's the center piece there, and this is a, yeah, this is a fixed nut, and then the two jam nuts lock these pieces down, and these have backed off. Long tube headers, and you know the <laughs> upgraded on the bushings. These things are loud. Yeah. yeah. Once you uh, you know get past uh, the point of being able to use polyurethane bushings, you can go with the Heim joint. The problem is, is that makes a lot of noise driving it around town. So this piece is the upper control arm. So we're gonna get rid of this one and put in a solid piece. So we're gonna eliminate all this stuff right in here and go with a fixed piece. We're, uh, well not bushing, these are the spacers for the watts link. The bushings okay. that I'm talking about are the control arm bushings. So we got one, two, three, four, and then there's one on either end of the upper control arm. So altogether, you're looking at six bushings. The only one that I've seen that looks questionable is this one, and it's hard to see until you actually take it apart. If you look at there and then the bolt going through, ideally it should be right through the center. It looks like it's back a little bit, but again, I really speculate until we actually take it off and, okay. and look at the bushings. The whole axle out, we're gonna get a new cover. We wanna inspect these things. If these things are still good, we're gonna reuse them. 
Uh, they're pretty stout. It looks like you just broke the housing on this. It's aluminum. Yeah, it, this it's is cracked, stainless, right? so it's pretty right strong. There. But if if the lines themselves are bad, then we're going to replace those too. So okay. If yeah. it's bad, we're going to fix it. We're going to take a look at the rear end. We'll pop the, we're going to have the cover off, obviously. So we'll take a look at the pattern and make sure there's no issues in there. I'm Chris Ruby with Shelby American, and uh, we're looking at Austin's car here. Uh, technicians figured it out pretty quick. Uh, the culprit was the upper control arm. It's an adjustable upper control arm on there. And we had it back out to the point where it started to extend the uh, upper control arm. And now we have clearance issues. So uh, we're going to take it apart, get the uh, cover replaced, repair the, uh, the lines, replace them, whatever needs be. Uh, make sure everything's still good on the inside, even though uh, we lost some fluid in there. And then we'll get them back on the road and running anytime soon. Special thanks to the team at Shelby American. These guys are amazing. They handled this entire ordeal so good, and I'm just extremely thankful. These guys rock, and honestly, th these cars are just insane. And even though the Super Snake has had some issues here and there, I still love the car. It's just, it it's an absolute beast. Worked on the suspension. We got some stuff. Here's some uh, pretty cool. So we do Penske double adjustable. This is the sales manager's car, and he. Well, he's from Penske, so he got us the hookup. He's got a three-way adjustable with remote reservoirs on here, quick connects. Um, yeah, this is the reservoir for the shocks. It's got an MR simulator on there. This is the wide body, isn't it? Yeah, this is his baby. He uh, is a former Penske suspension um, employee, so he's got some pull. He had them make a custom three-way adjustable coilover for this car with remote reservoirs, with remote disconnects. Uh, so in case you have to pull these, this reservoir won't fit through the tower hole. So you gotta do a quick disconnect and you don't lose any of your nitrogen. But a pretty sick setup. <laughs> One thing that we did notice is that we had a buddy that, that came with us to a track day and he had aftermarket um, oil covers right here. And they just, they, they popped off on the track, oil all over the engine and it was, it was a bummer. We sell time. these ones. These were supposed to be the GTE caps, and then they had different inserts so you could change them out for the look that you want. But for the Super Snake, we get um, a billet machine company. Yeah. They actually make bicycle parts. They make all of our caps for us. <laughs> uh, have you guys approved that you're going to make these on the GT350s like now completely? Because I know that you guys have talked about the wide body. It's oh, a it's concept. A, it's something that we offer currently. Oh, so it's you can actually make this right now. $18,995. Jesus. Installed. That's tires, wheels, painted. On the 350, it's less than the full wide body because we don't yeah. do the front half. It's a back half only. It says Shelby on the outside of the, of the tire. Do you guys make tires now? Yeah, we just launched that at SEMA. Yeah. We're still waiting to get certification on the street tires, but the off-road tires, we've got them certified up to like 130 miles an hour. 345s. Guys, check this out. They're making Shelby tires now. I've, I've yet to see this. We're gonna have to try to get a pair of these, put it on the yard and uh, see how it handles at the track. But these are Shelby wheels though. They can beat against the... This one right here, I think would be more for the 4S where these are gonna be more the Sport Cup too. Okay, that's good. Okay. Guys, check this out. First time I've seen this before anywhere on the internet, a supercharged Mustang bullet. These things are so hard to come by as is, and for Shelby to get a hold of one of these already, that, that is just insane. 740 to the tire. Terlingua 50th anniversary Mustang GT. You never see this anymore. You can tell by the window back here and then the badge right in there. This is going to be pretty dang wicked. We used to call it a 750. They say this one's good for another 30 to 40 horse. So. Gen 3 Whipple. Wow. The ones that I've seen on the dyno, I've had a few customers that dynoed them. They were right around 800, give or take. So, uh, and those were Gen 2 heads. This is cool. 
And so the signatures on the wall is a tradition that Carol started at her old shop in North Las Vegas. He, we had a tour going on, and Carol walked out into the shop, and everyone seen Carol and said, Carol, Carol, can I get your autograph? So he starts signing all these autographs, and everyone kind of swarms him until he backs into the wall, and he starts chuckling, and he says, you know what, guys, you come from around the world to see me in my shop. You always ask for my autograph. How about this? How about you give me your autograph? And Carol turned around, signed the wall, and it's been a tradition ever since. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are doing great. Right. Thanks for coming out. Okay, guys, that wraps up our visit at Shelby American in Las Vegas. The Super Snake is in good hands. It's going to be a lot to look forward to, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're up to date on all the latest Super Snake content. You know, real quick, where are we right now? Tell me you've ever seen this before. I am at pump number 96. Pump 96 I'm at at a gas station. This is, this is crazy. It's insane. I've never seen a gas station so massive before. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to comment down below what you think about the GT500 Super Snack, uh, the repair process that's uh, going on right now. Also, smash that like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe for much more Shelby content. While you do that, hit that notification bell so you're up to date on all the new videos.